Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm in Glasgow and delighted to be joined by young Tyler Simpson. Tyler, I tell you what, for a 19-year-old laddie, man, you can you can scrap. I'll give you that. I will. Most of my amateur career, I was brought in after the streets, came into the gym to get after fighting for the streets. So I know how to. I've got that dog in me a wee bit, and I know how to scrap a bit. So if they want to do that, we can do it. But you don't look like it. That's what I'm saying. You've got that baby faced assassin. You 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 you're well spoken. You've got a soft face, but. Like for anyone that, <laughs> that might not think that you know, he's an easy touch on the street, like you're talking about, man, they're going to fall into a bad, uh, a bad knockout if they try and test you. I believe. Oh well, I can't go out without somebody starting on me, but with boxing, I've got respect, so I step away. But if the rank person comes, they just think I'm a wee gimp. That's probably the right word to put it. I look like a gimp. I talk like a gimp. But I'm not a gimp. That's simple. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. Let's talk about the fight itself. Then, like I said, you're 19 years old, so some you haven't got your man, man strength yet, right? You're still filling the weight. That was an old, an old man there in terms of uh, a, a professional fighter. He's been there and done it, and he came to he came he came to fight, and you got drawn into the fight as well. It was a tasty little war. Um, how did you feel? Did you feel okay in there? I mean, the four rounds right now is valuable for this stage in your career. So, happy with the rounds? Happy with the rounds. Got to do my performance. Everyone's telling me I performed well. No, as you're saying, I'm in there with a man. It's somebody he's got the man strength over me and the experience. Got 36 pro fights. I've got that was my second tonight. Um, I'm 19. I'm a young boy, but. The first two rounds, I boxed behind my jab, was landing big shots. And then after the third round, you know, I got a thumb in the eye. I couldn't see going into the fourth. And I just kind of got into his fight a wee bit. I was winning his fight as well, but I shouldn't have done that. Do you know what I mean? I should have just kept it my long jab, kept it my stuff, instead of going into his stuff. But it's all learning. That's exactly it. I mean, it's okay. Fighters, young fighters like you want the first round knockout. They want the highlight real knockout. But coaches will tell you they want you to get the rounds. They want you learn how to go through adversity I mean you've got a, obviously a thumb into your eye so that's a little bit of adversity there to go through that fighters need to go through the cuts and whatnot. so you need that at this stage in your career because when you do get to these tougher tests you do get to these 6-8 six, eight, six, eight rounds the Celtic titles the British titles then it's going to stand you in good stead I will that's exactly it I'm looking for those titles I want to prove I'm the best welterweight in Scotland and there's a few names I've got there that I'd love to get in the ringway and put on a good scrap way. And I'm looking for that Scottish title in next end of next year, following you. I want that Scottish belt or title. Well, listen, I'll tell you what, man, this is IFL TV. We love a name, we love a call out. You got anyone you're going to call out? You know what? Everyone knows, everyone knows who I want to fight. I want to fight all the belt awaits. Bring them on because I know I can beat them all. The thing is, obviously, this is definitely a question I should be asking in five, six years' time, but the belt weight division. It's always been that stellar division. It's always been there from the Sugar Ray Leonards, from the Tommy Hearns to the Floyd Mayweathers, Manny Pacquiao's. It's always been that money division. Behind the heavyweight division, if you're talking about the money division where you're going to make the most money and get the most stardom, it is the welterweight division. Uh, is that the reason why you've chosen this division? Can you? Is, is that why you get that big, the big, the big bank? Listen, that's a bonus. I just this is my natural division. I don't. I don't need to cut as much as most people do. I'm happy here. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. In the coming years, I could see myself up at middleweight, but right now, well, it's my weight. Definitely. Listen, enjoy the rest tonight. I mean, you've got some crowd out there. There's about 14 laddies there chucking you on your shoulder, doing backflips with you and all that. So, listen, enjoy the rest tonight. Go and enjoy uh, with your mates there. Oh, you're Sonny. One thing, just want to thank Willie Lemon for all the work he's putting in me. I want to thank Jake Murray for taking this camp with me and Dane McConnell and tonight, fantastic coach, him and Willie's put me into this position, I just want to thank them what, for everything they've done for me, especially my wee da sitting there, there. he's my wee hero and he's <laughs> my wee da and he's in the <laughs> corner with me, <laughs> ah, he's still a wee guy now so he's my wee da. Tyler, well done brother and listen, first of many interviews so get used to this camera son, okay, well done, well done.